Hello everyone. The vacuum cleaner in today's video is a little bit of a rarity in cordless cleaners because this halo capsule takes dust bags. There are a few other models available that take bags including of course the Henry cordless and there's a model from GTEC but mostly cordless vacuum cleaners are bagless so I wanted to try out a halo capsule. Now the halo gets a witch best buy. It's also recommended by the Good Housekeeping Institute and Tech Advisor give it the best vacuum cleaner of 2020. So, all big awards. Let's see what it's like when I test it. Now, I paid for this myself. Haven't been given this free of charge. So, we get a user guide. Now, with this particular bundle, you get 52 bags, which Halo reckon will sh should be about two years of use. So, We've got all these packs of bags. Normally, with a normal bundle, I think you get two bags. So, they are going to last a very long time in the average home. So, that's all the bags out the way. We've got a crevice tool. Which looks fairly generic. It's got a pip fitting, a bit reminiscent of the old-fashioned Hoover crevice tools. Another nozzle we have. It's a, it's a dusting brush, but it's quite stiff brushes. I wouldn't want to use that on delicate items. It'll be okay on shelving, curtains, lampshades, but I wouldn't use it on my TV screen or anything like that because they're quite stiff for a dusting brush. This is the mains charger. Being a UK version, it's obviously got a UK plug on it. Here we have the floor head, which is designed for carpets and hard floors because you can turn off the brush roller. Fairly narrow. Quite stiff brushes, a very narrow opening though, so I'd be wary of this blocking up. And another thing I'm a bit wary of is this tube that connects the floor head to the tube on the machine. This flexible tube here. Now I've seen other vacuum cleaners that use a tube like this and this style is prone to split. So I'm hoping it's not going to split on this one. I know Shark had a problem with their vacuum cleaners and they've completely changed this material into something that's not see-through and it's uh, a black more robust material. So we'll have to see in future if that splits and I expect if it does split you'll just get a completely new head that's what manufacturers tend to do these days anyway that's the floor head here's the cleaner itself which is quite large but it's not too heavy but I'll look at that a bit closer in a minute and finally out of the box we have the lightweight wand, which, yes, it's uh, aluminium. And that, of course, contains the electrical wires to power the floor head. Now, this halo capsule is made of carbon fiber, which makes it very lightweight. In fact, the whole thing weighs in at 2.6 kilograms. That's not just for the motor unit. That's for everything, including the power head and the wand. This part is even lighter. It's not ultra compact, but I have to confirm that it is light in the hand. It's got quite a retro styling to it. I'm particularly reminded of old fashioned vacuum cleaners with this catch. This catch is actually made of metal and this is the catch that you open to access the large dust bag. In fact, the dust bag capacity, or as Halo call it, the dust pouch capacity, is 1.6 litres, which is considerably larger than the majority of cordless cleaners and even larger than some bagless uprights. So to access the dust pouch, we just flip up the metal clip and we can open the lid and lift out the bag. Now it's got a bit of a seal to keep the dust in. And it's a conventional paper bag, 
but looking at it it's twin skinned there is two layers at least of filter material and being paper I suppose it's better for the environment it's paper and cardboard but of course there's that little silicone seal as well and underneath we have a filter now being a bagged cleaner there's no messy cyclones there's no messy bagless containers to empty basically when this bag is full you lift it out and replace it with a new one so there's going to be a lot less maintenance this filter is washable but i think that's going to stay cleaner than the majority of cordless bagless cleaners i've looked at there's also just underneath another little filter that you can wash but I don't think that's going to get very dirty. The dirt will have to pass through the bag and this filter before it gets to the final motor filter there. So that just fits in. So this is a very simple cleaner. But in my experience, sometimes if you overcomplicate things, it doesn't make them clean any better. It's just a nice, easy, clean way of disposing of dirt, in my opinion. And I'm glad to see that some manufacturers are introducing bagged cleaners again. When you close the cover, you've got this little flap as well. That's to help prevent any dirt from falling out of the machine. Because obviously when it's in this position, if there wasn't a flap there, dirt would fall out of the dust bag. I do like this finish. I can't really describe it, but it's uh, quite smart. And you've got a little, there's an anti-slide grip there. So I assume that means you can lean it up against the wall because this will not stand up on its own. Let's have a quick look at these controls. There are just three buttons on the cleaner. This button turns the machine on and off. The blue button here turns the brush roll on and off. And then we have the power selector button that selects from the three speeds. So you've got a low speed for lightweight cleaning, a medium speed for general day-to-day -day use, and a maximum speed for heavily soiled areas. And you also have an indicator here to show you the charge in the battery. And finally, at the bottom, a bag check indicator. One thing that slightly disappointed me about the Halo capsule is the lack of a mini motorized brush. Now, many cordless vacuum cleaners offer a mini motorized brush as an option or included with PET versions, but with a capsule, you only get the main motorized carpet and floor nozzle. Saying that, it is possible to connect this directly to the cleaner like so. So you can use the machine on stairs in this configuration. It does make it a bit heavier, but it's not too bad, it is manageable. And the head isn't exactly wide, it's certainly not as wide as a, a normal upright vacuum cleaner. So you should be able to do your stairs with no problem. I will be testing this machine all around my house, of course. So we can take the nozzle off, and I've just noticed that it's a bit stiff to remove. It might loosen up in time. It doesn't really seem to click, it is in position. There's no satisfying click though, but yeah, it's okay. It will loosen up hopefully. And of course you can attach the small nozzles directly to the end of the cleaner. But of course the nozzles will also fit on the end of the wand. So you can clean up high with the dusting tool. Just put it on the end like that and then you can get those cobwebs, etc. So for day-to-day -day use for carpets and floors, we need to attach the wand. And again, it's, it's locked in place, but there was no, no satisfying click, but it is very firmly in place. And then of course we can attach the power head into the end of the wand. Let's have a quick look at the power head rotating. It's very simple design. We've just got two rollers here and two wheels at the back. Um, the suction on it, the side suction and cleaning to the edge, I'm not sure will be very good because you can see there's quite a gap. And also something else I've noticed on this, there's no easy access to remove the brush roll. There's no button, there's nothing. So I'm assuming you would have to remove quite a lot of screws, possibly this end cap or both end caps 
to actually remove that brush. That is a shame. I would like to have seen something that enabled you to remove this brush easier because of course if you've got long hair or pets you will know that hair wraps around the brush roll and of course you can cut through the hairs using scissors and pick it off but to have a vacuum you can easily remove the brush is an advantage and it's a shame that Halo haven't included that feature but as I said this is their very first model hopefully after consumer feedback they may change this head and make a much easier to remove brush roll and something that we're seeing more frequently on cleaners is LED lights there's nothing on this so it's quite a basic head but if it performs well I will forgive it let's uh, see if I can turn it on So it's relatively quiet, that brush head. It doesn't really add very much to the noise of the cleaner. There is a system where if it gets caught up, if you run over a sock under the bed or something gets jammed in the brush roller, it will automatically switch off and a light will illuminate here to warn you of that problem. And then it'll just reset it. Once you've cleared the brush, you can switch it on and off again and it should be fine. Okay, well, I'm gonna give, give this the first push over this plush carpet. If you've watched my channel for a while, you may remember when I got this carpet fitted, I tried out several vacuum cleaners and uh, one vacuum cleaner that really couldn't cope with this carpet on its highest setting was the Dyson V11. On its lowest setting, it did work, but on most settings of that Dyson, the brush roll just cut out. So it'll be interesting to see if the Halo capsule can beat the Dyson in that respect. Now obviously you must fully charge the Halo capsule before first use and I pre-charged this prior to making the video but when you get yours make sure you plug it into the charger and wait until all four blue lights illuminate on the cleaner itself and then you know it's ready to use. There is a little bit of charge in the machine but for best results just leave it to fully charge before you try out the Halo capsule for yourself. Okay. This is the very first time. Now, when you switch it on, the default is brush roll off. So you do have to press the blue brush roll button to turn it on for carpets. The default setting suction wise is the medium setting. So I'm just going to leave it on that and see how it copes for this initial first use. Okay, well, it's not too keen on this carpet. Not many vacuum cleaners are. I mean, it's, it is working, but it's not, uh, it's hard to describe. I'll try and show you a bit in close up. This might work better on us on the lower power setting. I'm gonna try it also on the max power setting. On max, I think it could cut out. Now the problem I'm having on this particular carpet is the motorized head on the Halo capsule tends to lift up when I'm pushing it forward. When I'm pulling the cleaner head back, it does make full contact with the carpet, but as I'm pushing it, it does tend to skip around a bit. Now that's on medium. I'm just going to try it on the minimum setting. Well, on minimum, it's very easy to push, but it still has the problem of, it's even worse actually, it's hardly gripping the carpet. So obviously minimum is a no-go on this particular carpet. I'm now going to try it on maximum. It might work, it might not, the head might cut out.
Well, on the medium setting, this Halo capsule does work on my plush pile carpet, but it skips a bit. It doesn't make full contact with the carpet until you pull the head back. On the forward push, it's, it's a little bit light and yeah, it's a little bit disappointing on this carpet, but there are not many cordless vacuum cleaners that I've tried cope very well with this particular pile. Only my shark cordless cleaners with the duo clean brush roll seem to clean it with no problem. Anyway, I'm going to move on to a shorter pile carpet that you'd find in most homes and um, I think I'm going to get better results. I've come upstairs to try the Halo capsule on a lower pile carpet. Now I live in a three-storey house and apart from the living room, all the other rooms except the bathrooms and kitchen are carpeted in this short pile man-made carpet. So I'm sure the Halo capsule will be able to cope with that far better than it can cope with my plush living room carpet. Okay, I'm going to use the default setting, which is medium, switch the brush roll on and see how it performs. <laughs> Okay then, it's time for the first demonstration. I've just emptied the contents of another cordless bagless cleaner onto the carpet. So this is general dirt that's been picked up all around my home. So there's pet hair in there, bits of paper, some threads. There's even some bird seed that I dropped in the kitchen. I use the cleaner to pick it up with. So just a varied amount of dirt, real dirt, that I've picked up for my home. So let's see how well the halo capsule can cope. I'm just going to pass the cleaner forward and back through the middle of this on its medium setting. <laughs> Well, as you can see, it has done a very good job on this short pile carpet. One slow forward and back pass and really nearly everything has been removed. I can't see anything in the cleaning path that's been left. There's a tiny bit of dirt there and a little bit of dirt at the back here. But that is a pretty clean sweep. I'm going to clean this dirt up using the Halo capsule on the minimum setting to see how well it copes. Well, even on minimum setting, the Halo capsule has done a pretty impressive job. Not quite as good as on the medium setting, but you really can't tell the difference. I mean, you'd have to get very close. It's left the odd couple of bits here and there, but nothing major really. So you could, in theory, use the Halo capsule day to day on minimum if you've got short pile carpets. <laughs> I'm in my kitchen now and I've put down a lot of dirt onto the kitchen floor to test the halo capsule. So there's various sizes of particles, the finest being flour 
and then loose leaf tea, lentils and rolled oats. There's a bit of bird seed in there as well. So I'm going to use the machine on its default medium setting but also this time I'm going to use it with the brush roller off. Well, that's pretty impressive, a fairly clean sweep. And I didn't notice any snow ploughing. Well, nothing significant anyway, just a few little bits, but it didn't push the dirt to the front as a lot of vacuum cleaners do. Well, that's nearly the end of my video on the Halo capsule. We can have a look at the dirt we've picked up. A little bit spilt out over the top. But all the dirt I've removed in this demonstration is inside the bag. And if we have a look inside the container, now, it might be hard for you to pick up, but there is some fine dust. I have to say, there's some fine dust inside this container. Not a huge amount, but there is some. If we have a look at the filter, that is still pretty clean. Very, very clean, in fact. If I'd done these same demonstrations using a bagless cordless cleaner, I would expect to see some dust and dirt on the filter. So it's not done too bad. Now it does have pros and cons. Obviously, this is a first look video. I've not had this machine for long. So I can just give you my initial summing up regarding this vacuum. Now I love the fact it is a bagged cordless vacuum. That is the biggest plus point for me, which means less messy emptying. Regarding the unit itself, it is relatively light and easy to handle. A little niggle, I would have preferred the default setting to be brushes on. So every time you turn the cleaner on, you've got to press the blue button in order to make the brushes go around. Now that's fine if you live in a house with mainly hard floors, you won't need the brush. But if you live in a house that's mainly carpeted, you'll want to have the brush on most of the time. So it's a bit it's only a small thing, but you have to turn it on, then press the brush bar um, on button. I don't mind the fact that the, the default suction setting is medium because I think you will do most of your cleaning in the medium mode. One other negative about this cleaner, there's no swappable battery. Obviously there is a battery inside, but it is not a battery you can easily take out and swap with another one. So that is a a little down point regarding batteries. I think it's always best to have a machine where you can take the battery out and put a new one in straight away to carry on with your cleaning. So all in all, I think the main issues I've got are regarding the head. Now this head, and I've looked back at my Vax Blade video, this is basically the same head underneath 
as uh, the Vax Blade, the first edition Vax Blade. They've got newer models out now, which will have different heads, but the brush roller, the rollers on the bottom, it looks very similar, right down to the fact that you have to undo screws here in order to get access to the brush roll. And the brush roll isn't the best on, certainly not on this carpet. It's fine on short pile carpets. And as you saw from the demo, it was fine on hard floors. But all in all, if I had to change one thing about this cleaner would be the brush head. I think it needs looking at again. It needs to be made a bit more substantial. Even if it makes it heavier, it wouldn't matter because you're not lifting up the brush roll when you're cleaning. All the weight is in your hand using the suction unit. But the brush roller, uh, the motorized head, it doesn't matter if that's a bit wide and heavier because you don't feel the weight of it. Another slight niggle I'll mention before I go regarding the other tools. I would prefer a softer dusting brush, but also where's the upholstery nozzle? There isn't a small upholstery nozzle. You could at a push use this on upholstery, but most upholstery, unless it's hard wearing, I wouldn't recommend it. So it would have been nice to have a small upholstery nozzle so you can do your soft furnishings using the Halo capsule. But apart from that, I did try this on my stairs off camera and it is about the same width as a standard stair. So it was fairly easy to vacuum the stairs this way and it did actually bring the pile up. So it is good on stairs using the motorized head. I'll be looking in a bit more detail at this vacuum cleaner at a later date after I've used it a bit more around my home. But in the meantime, if you've got any comments or questions about the Halo capsule, please comment below. And I'll see you all for the next video coming up very soon. Bye for now.